Hello and welcome back to Simple or Difficult. In today's tutorial, you and I, we are going to be importing SketchUp components into Revit and also be able to get the most out of it by detailing it in very simple steps, in very few steps. Okay, so to do that, all we have to do is quickly jump inside the web and then get into 3D Warehouse. Okay, you can just type 3D Warehouse.sketchup.com. Okay, and then you search search for bed i want us to bring in bed okay so the good thing about this thing i want to bring to your attention is this in the properties you can set the file size that you want okay you can also set the polygon size that you want okay you can set it anyhow you want it but for the purpose of this area we're going to keep things simple okay we're going to import all these beds you can see nice beds here that you can always import and use and they will still look nice okay so for the purpose of this tutorial for this example let's download this download 2019 model you can download any version of the model but i like to download the lowest one okay and then download this other one too let's download two so the next thing i want us to download Mm, is the cabinets all right so if you ever need to open this stuff if you ever need to edit things like the way all these things are you may not want to import all of them you might want to open them in sketchup first and edit things delete some things or make some modification before bringing them in if not that you don't even have to open this thing at all you don't have to open it inside sketchup and i'll show you just follow along let's unload this cabinet um which other one do we download which other one which other one which other one which other one less than this is a tele television cabinet let's download it uh i think yes well i think that's it let's download this one too as well all right so we are done downloading let's head back to revit and import them into revit all right so to import this thing inside revit all we need to do is head over to the insert tab insert tab is over here and then in the import panel that we can see here you will see import card all right when you click on it okay um you have to come over here and find it mine is on my desktop and then you can see you can see the folder where it is all right and for you to be able to see the sketcher file like i'm seeing it in my own you have to make sure that you you select the sketcher file like i'm selecting it here if it is not there you will not see anything you will not see nothing okay you have to select the sketcher file like so and then you will be able to see the file that we just downloaded all right the first bed we downloaded is for some reason i don't know for some reason it is named as group 330 just select it okay um leave it at auto detect okay a little bit of disclaimer here sometimes when you are doing this stuff when you are bringing in this model from sketchup because you do not know the unit that the model was modeled in the component was modeled in rather you may have to do a little bit of trial and error or if you are very conversant with sketchup you know how to use sketchup very well you can actually open it up there and then make some adjustment there and ascertain the unit in which the component was modeled but if you don't do if you don't know that it's still fine okay auto detect will help you out to detect the best unit that because revit is a very smart software it will detect it for you and i will show you let's just go ahead and hit open it's going to take a little bit of time allow it to load it will still exactly it has entered so this is the bed that we just imported Okay, for you to be able to move it or do anything to it, you have to first of all unpin it like so. And that we have done. All right? I've unpinned it. Okay. All right, that was the bed. Let's import something else. Let's import the television console. This is the television cabinet. The same thing. Okay, you see, it has landed. Now unpin it let's move it to the living room like so and that is how you do it simple very simple i don't know whether that place is the front door or the back let me just draw a section line somewhere so i can be able to view the interior of this building okay 
All right, that's actually that, okay. Yeah, that I was correct. That's that's actually the front. Okay, so that is where the console is. I have to rotate it. Sorry, let's go back. I have to rotate it to be facing downwards. Okay, that's how I want it to be. So I, I believe you get the gist now. You get the info of how to import these things. All right. Uh huh. Let's just do just to be sure. Let's just do one more. Okay. Just to make sure that we have actually gotten our fingers around it. Okay. Let's import um this. Yeah, that. Okay. Import. We have to unpin it first and then move it. Okay. Let's go over here and take a look at it in our section. This is what we just imported. Okay. That, those are cabinets. All right. As you can see, we have this cabinet over here. This is um, a SketchUp component that we just downloaded and imported. All right. Now we have learned how we can download them, where we download them from and how to import them. But now let's say we want to do details of it. We want to like this is a cabinet now and I want to cut a section through it. I want to cut a section through it so I can actually dimension it. Now you you notice something when you cut a section through it, it is not cutting it. It is actually still showing me the other end of the of the component of the SketchUp model that we just imported. But if I want, if I actually wanted the section to be able to cut through it, all you just have to do is come over to the properties palette. You see enable cutting and then check it on. Now you can see the section line is now cutting through it. All right. So you can now dimension it as you see fit. All right. Now, for you to be able to get the most out of this dimension, you have to be able to format the dimension. And if you don't know how to do that, I will put a link in the descri description so you can be able to see a video that we have done on this channel where we teach you how to customize virtually everything on a dimension line. All right. So that's pretty much it. That's all I have to teach you for now on importing of from 3D Warehouse, SketchUp model from 3D Warehouse into Revit and also be able to get the most out of it by detailing it and for you to be able to do that you have to once again select it and then enable cutting if you don't want anything to be able to cut through it you just keep it off okay but if you want to do details like that cabinet sometimes you have to do shop details you know work, when you're doing working drawing you have to detail it so that um, the carpenters could be able to make it on site or wherever so you need to enable that cutting for you to be able to do that all right thank you very much for watching this tutorial I appreciate you. If you're a newcomer to this channel, if this is the first video you're watching, please consider subscribing. Okay? We post videos like this every week, if not every day, where we teach you how to use softwares to optimize and um, level up your workflow in your workplaces. Okay? Um, not only subscribing, please ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorial. Alright? Thank you very much once again for watching. I will see you in my next video.